So, I was about to go edit and then I just realized I didn't do an intro. I didn't do an intro. But I'm also just like in my pajamas right now and I look pretty gross. So anyway, this is gonna be the intro. The lighting sucks, the quality sucks, I'm sorry. Um, I slacked no excuses but yeah enjoy this back workout and then after the back workout it's gonna be the 25 facts about me um feel free to skip the workout if you're not interested but enjoy the video sorry about the shitty intro oh god <laughs> Starting off with the rear delt fly machine, we're going to do 3 sets of 12. Now ultimately this machine obviously targets your rear delts. These are the primary muscles that the machine is targeting. However, the secondary muscles that are being worked while doing this exercise are your rhomboids and your lats, therefore making this exercise a good back workout as well. The next exercise we're going to do is the lat pull down. We're going to do this until failure. Really engage those back muscles and squeeze your shoulder blades together to really feel that engagement. The lat pull down primarily targets the latissimus dorsi or obviously known as the lat, hence the name, and also targets your lower to middle trapezius, your rhomboids, and your serratus anterior. To better target our lats, we're going to use an isolated lat pull down machine to do one armed lat pull down. Now, I decided to go with a heavier weight, therefore, I couldn't do as many reps, but I went for strength rather than repetition. Moving on, we're going to go to the cable machine and do straight arm cable pull downs. This is my favorite workout for my back. So we're going to do this until failure once again because we believe that pushing yourself to your limits and seeing how far you can go when doing this exercise not only leads to ultimate results but helps you become stronger and be able to reach your fitness goals. Now when doing this exercise it's really easy to feel it mainly in your triceps so try to really engage your back muscles especially your lats in order to pull down using those particular muscles and this also targets your delts, your rhomboids and your chest as well. So the next exercise we're going to do is a variation of a seated cable row where we're going to use a tricep rope and pull up. This will target your upper back muscles but also your rear delts and again we did this until failure. This was probably the weirdest one for me because I've actually never done this exercise but it definitely made me sore the next day and I like to try things that are different so that I can work different muscles in my back. The next exercise we're going to move on to is called the seated cable row. It's a pulling exercise that works your general back muscles. We're going to do this until failure once again. When performing this exercise, make sure to keep your core engaged as, along with your glutes and your hamstrings. This way you will prevent injury. You're going to be also using your forearm muscles, your upper arm muscles, and your biceps and your triceps as well as they are your dynamic stabilizers. And finally, we're gonna end our exercise with some shoulder presses using an easy curl bar. We're gonna do this three times until failure. We're gonna bring the bar behind our head so that we can squeeze our shoulder blades together to really feel that engagement. And that will also work our back while working our shoulders as well. Try to keep your core engaged to prevent injury and make sure you don't go too heavy so that you don't drop the bar. Hi everyone, I hope you enjoyed that workout because girl, that workout was killing me for three days after, like really hurt, hurt me, my back was killing me. Also, please, my hair right now is not cute, I'm just a mess, a mess. Anyway, what I wanted to do today was make a video called 25 facts about me and it's a video that's very common, but I also think it's very important so that you can get to know me a little bit, know what I'm about, know who I am, know more about me, and all that. So I'm just gonna jump right into it. I wrote it down on my phone just because 25 facts at the top of my head, like boom, boom, pow, and keeping track. No, that's just, no, no. I wanna keep this smooth sailing and we're gonna roll through these 
facts and so you get to know me a little bit more. So let's start off with number one. My ethnicity, I am Japanese Canadian. Grew up here in Canada, Toronto to be specific. Born and raised, grew up in Etobicoke and now I move a little bit more east and I live in a condo in Toronto. Um, number two, I was born in 1997, making me 22 years old. I'll be turning 23 next year in March. Number three, I, that, that, that connection, March, I am a Pisces. Yes, you guessed it, I am a Pisces. We, very emotional girl, very emotional. I cry a lot by myself or in front of my boyfriend, but I hate crying in front of people. Ugh. Number four, I was born on St. Patrick's Day, y'all. Yes, yes, love being born on St. Patrick's Day. There's always something going on. Something's always popping off and I love that. It's always so much fun, you know, like just, hey, I don't know what to do for my birthday this year. Oh, let's just go to an Irish pub. Number five, I have an older brother. Mm -hmm. Yes, I do. He's three years older than me and we do not live together, but I feel like we have a pretty good relationship. Number six, I love I love fitness, beauty, art, and food. As you can probably tell by my channel already, I kind of incorporated all those, but I love cooking and doing like different recipes and I like eating it after. The eating it part is the more important one. And of course, like everything else, I just, it's part of my daily life. And that's why I do it for YouTube. Um, number seven, I want to start my own business in beauty. Now I know that everybody kind of does it, but I'm willing to try, I'm willing to compete. Very competitive. I guess that could be number like a 26 box about me. I'm super competitive and I want to do like microblading because I always get compliments on these brows. No girl. But I also obviously like if you're going to do brows, I'd rather be um, skilled in different things. So I'm going to start with lashing, then do the brows, and then I want to do tooth gems and then who knows. But I have ideas to set myself apart from the competition, which I do not want to speak about because that is a secret. Number eight, I love dance, photography, visual arts, videography, and editing. And I wish I could sing, because I love performing. When I was younger, I used to do a lot of like drama presentations and stuff. Not part of the drama club or anything like that. Like, I was not that serious, but love being in front of people. It's super fun for me. It gives me this weird adrenaline rush. Number nine, I just graduated from university. Thank God I majored in PR, public relations, and I want to use those skills that I used and put it into my own business. Uh, I just kind of realized I am not a nine to five kind of girl. I'm too creative. And also a lot of my profs told me that they don't get paid that much for the work that they do. So I'm just kind of like, wah, 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 not doing that. Number 10, I have a big interest in all things social media and social media marketing. I actually find it very interesting. Um, it's just really cool to me. Like I just feel like people hate it, but people also love it. But businesses utilize it and just individuals utilize it. It's just very interesting. Number 11, I started this YouTube channel because I wanted to have a creative outlet. I want to have fun with it. And I just thought that it'd be another cool thing to add to my life. I think it's really fun and I like to collab with people and yeah, I just wanna see where this takes me. Who knows where it goes, right? Number 12, I like to think that I am an extrovert. I think I'm an extrovert. Yeah, I love, I love social settings. I love meeting new people. Meeting new people gives me like a rush. I love talking to people. I like going to parties. I like going to dinners. I like family dinners. Like anything with a lot of people around, it just gives me this like weird adrenaline where I just like love it. Like, and I like talking to people as well. Number 13, I have a dog named Goma. He's a Yorkshire Terrier. Goma in Japanese means sesame seed. We gave him that name because he's extremely tiny. Number 14, I work out five times a week. I give myself two rest days. And yeah, like even if I'm extremely tired, you gotta just shake up that pre-workout and take it and go. Love working out. Number 15, I have a weird sense of humor. Um, yeah, very odd. Not everybody like understands it, but the few, you know, I've had a few people that feel it. So I find people who get confused really funny. Like if something happens and the reaction is just like pure confusion, that makes me laugh so hard and then also people getting hurt 
and I know that sounds really freaking like sadistic and weird but like yeah people like in pain like if they like fall or something it makes me laugh and I think that's the Japanese in me you know if you watch those shows you, you'll know what I'm talking about those game shows everyone's always getting hurt or like something happens to them that's super uncomfortable and they're just in an uncomfortable situation hilarious definitely so funny we're 16 my dad currently lives in Japan I miss him I want to make it a thing to go see him more often Number 17, um, after I graduated, I made it a goal to go travel a lot more. So, so far after I graduated, I've been to Hawaii and Greece, but I still have a whole list that I'm going to plan to go to. But I've also been to like Japan and California, Florida, uh, Boston, which is really random. I've been to New York like three times. Um, yeah, I've been to a couple places. I just can't think of it. But yeah, I love traveling. It's always so much fun. Number 18, I'm not a materialistic person. However, monetary goals do drive me. So, you know, being able to like have enough to save and do uh, like use those fin financial goals to like help grow something in the future, like a business, that definitely drives me. But that's not the sole purpose of why I do things. I want to do things like I want to generally be happy. And that's why I wanted to do like the whole microbating and lashing thing, because I actually think that would bring me a lot of joy. And I enjoy doing like very meticulous things. And like eyelashes look so like, we need patience for that shit. And I feel like I can do that. I feel like it'd make me really happy. So I'm actually really excited. Number 19, I would like to think that I have a very strong personality. If you piss me off, I'll tell you that's what it is I'm just keep it real I'm extremely blunt um, you'll know how I'm feeling but that's why I have so many good friends because they know that I will tell them the truth when they are bought when something's like bothering me uh, number 20 I am an avid cannabis user and I didn't know if I wanted to put that in here you know I didn't you know I didn't like no no one really says like oh I like to drink alcohol but it is still taboo I find but in Canada uh, cannabis is legal I use it for just relaxation I don't do it too much anymore <laughs> but I just do it at night to help me sleep and it really relaxes me and helps me calm down number 21 I have a boyfriend I have a boyfriend that I've been dating for about two almost two years now so in January on New Year's it'll be our two-year anniversary and yeah he's really cool he's my rock and love him shout out to you Evan. At number 22 my mom and I have a very strong relationship she is my go-to she's my rock she's my best friend I love her um yeah we live together she's really cool I really really enjoy her and she teaches me a lot I love her number 23 I have a lot of friends uh different kinds of friends from different points in my life but all of those friends add something of value and all of them teach me something in some sort of way and I really really value important and strong relationships I think they're extremely valuable to help a person grow and I like learnings and they always do that for me number 24 I'm a hypochondriac I worry about the smallest things I had eczema on my head literally started crying at Tim Hortons because I thought I had skin cancer I I'm just I can't explain it but I'm working on it and I'm growing and I'm trying to tell myself that like not everything is extremely fatal or that I'm gonna die but a lot of the times that's just what it is and I can't help it but I'm trying and lastly not number 25 I hate my freckles that's why I wear makeup uh, it's really crazy to me to see all these people like like wear like getting tattoos and like putting shit on their face to get freckles because I just you can have mine you know, you want to rip off my skin and wear it, you can have it because I really don't like them. But anyway, guys, that was 25 facts about me. Thank you so much for watching. Really, really, um, really, really hope you got to know me a little bit more. I get to know my vibe, who I am as a person. And if you like this video, please subscribe. And hopefully I'll get to see you guys in the future. Bye. Thank you. Oh, and also, I post every Sunday. Or I try to at least. So... Stay tuned and I'll see you next week. Bye.